Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Road and Geekery. Today I am looking at two different repos, uh, but they both do similar sorts of things and you can actually run one from the other, so quite weird. So the first one we've got here is GFPGAN, and this aims at developing practical algorithms for real-world face restoration. And we've got another one here, Real ESR GAN, which is for general image restoration. So uh, yeah, as always, pictures speak a thousand words. So we just have a little scroll down. Here we go. So this is the face one. As you can see, this is the input and there's the output GFP GAN hours. So as you can see, they look really cool. They've added some color to that one. It doesn't actually add color. I've not had it add color yet, um, but uh, yeah, there, there you go. So as you can see, Pulse, we, we, we all know about Pulse and Obama. Um, yeah, some interesting face restoration there and some of the other methods there, as you can see this one produces the best looking output from that set of examples there, I think. Anyway, and if we do the same with ESR GAN, let's have a look at the pictures. So here we can see this is a more general upscaling, so it gets rid of all the, the graininess, makes it a bit smoother, all that sort of thing. So if you've used things like Waifu 2X, mm, yeah, okay, let, let's scroll down and we'll see a comparison with Waifu 2X, there we go. So by Cubic, Waifu 2X, and there's this one, ESR GAN, using the special anime one from the model zoo down there as well so yeah that looks pretty cool even compared to wifi 2x which is already rather awesome it's it's a little bit cleaner a little bit crisper lines are a bit nicer so yeah not, not quite as blurry so hmm yeah yeah right now we'll uh, we'll have a look at installing this one the gfp gan first uh mostly because uh the esr gan is really really easy they have a portable download how about that? So you get a, a, an XE for Windows, it's a little zip there, uh, also for Linux and even MacOS as well, and it'll work on your, your CPU, an AMD or NVIDIA GPU. So how about that? How about that? Eh? Pretty much run on anything. Portable, download it, double click, run. There you go. You, you don't need to conda activate anything. It, it, it's, it's an XE. You download it and you run it awesome stuff eh so uh, yeah so i'll mostly be looking at this gfp gan like i say you install both anyway uh, and you can run one from the other so hey uh right so installation uh as mentioned here they provide a clean version of gfp gan that's that's the one that i've got installed uh and if you want to use the original model there's a whole different set of instructions there so if you want to use the other model that's that's that yeah yeah i'm not doing those ones i'm doing these ones um but i'm also not doing this quite like they say there because that doesn't work um it gives all sorts of uh dependency errors if you try to install basic sr before you've installed all the other things and they got a requirements in the middle which you actually need at the so yeah so yeah the, the, this this way actually works um right so of course i am using a conda virtual environment so conda create minus minus name i am the king of names so I called this GFP GAN and I am using Python 3.9 so it's just quickly activate that there. Uh, you will of course already have downloaded it with a git clone and cd'd into the directory for the stuff you've downloaded. You'll then need to install PyTorch. PyTorch as always is very easy to install. You can just go to the PyTorch website, get started, install locally, stable, Linux, pip, Python, CUDA 11, there you go. There is the command that gets PyTorch installed for you with all that lovely NVIDIA GPU support. Mm. Then you need a bunch of other packages. Then you can install basic SR, face xlib and real ESR GAN. Of course, all this stuff is down in the description. So you can just copy paste it anyway. And then that last little command, just because they, they say, there you go. Right. So it's, it's sort of the same as those, but in, in a completely different order. Uh, so, and, and they missed out PyTorch. Um, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, same, same, but different. Right, anyway, so once you've done all that, you will of course need to download this pre-trained model here. So that's the no CEC2 version. You can just use that wget command. I of course have already downloaded it and that downloads it into the uh, experiments pre-trained models directory. Uh, and then you can run. So that, uh, that command will run on some uh, images that are already in there. So uh, let's let's go and have a look at those, shall we? Let's go and have a look at those. Right, so we've got inputs and uh, those are the whole images. So they've got that image, that image, and that image. There you go. So if we run that exact command, we'll pop that one in there. This one's fairly quick because these images aren't, aren't too big. So let's have a look in here. <laughs> 
there we go. 1297 by 1920. So not, not a massive picture, not a massive picture. And as you can see, it does this tiling. So the, the bigger the, the picture, the, the higher the resolution, the more tiles uh, it's going to need to do and, uh, and the more VRAM you're going to need on your GPU as well. So let's have a quick look at those outputs. That's into the results directory. So we've got a few different ones there. We've got a CMP directory. So this lets you compare the faces. So it's done a bit of face detection. And there it goes. You can see, yeah, yeah, that's, it's made it nice and clean and made all these edges nice and got rid of all the, the grain and stuff. And fine, there's a little bit of a spooky eye and the, the teeth are quite bizarre. But yeah, it, it's very good at adding hair. It does a lot of hair, fine hair details like that. Uh, and eyes. Are, are the pupils round? Yeah, yeah, sort of, sort of. <laughs> so there, that's that's the CMP directory anyway. So you can see them side by side to compare what it's done to them. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good. Okay, there's another directory as well, cropped faces. So that's that's just where it picks out the faces. Not particularly interesting. Those are the image ones. And then it's got restored faces. So that's the other half. And then... You got the restored images, so this is where it's uh, restored it and popped it back into the original. So there you go. There you got the two faces, and there you can see it's restored the faces. Very weird, isn't it? It's very weird. So this this is all like grainy. Faces are very smooth, slightly grainy. Faces very smooth. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so there you go. That's that's what that does. That's what that does. Now. I've also got a bunch of other ones as well because I, I like playing with these, don't I? So we've got a, we've got a set of nerdy images here. So I wanted to see, all right, what what will it handle? So this is one I've actually already put through this filter. So yeah, um, this is. Uh, I wanted to see if it did add the color. It doesn't add the color, um, so I'm not, I'm not sure what that what that image is all about because that's black and white. Um, yeah. <laughs> So the, these are these are the uh, original input images that I thought I'd test it with, and uh, things that aren't faces, things with lots of faces in, things with high amounts of damage, things that that have faces that aren't actually human, faces cut in half by bits of hair, uh, paintings, and uh, and all the, the Mona Lisa, of course, <laughs> and and sketches. So there we go, there we go. Those, those are my those are my test images. So how how well do you reckon it will handle those? How well do you reckon it will handle those? All right, well, let's let's run the command. So I'm going to uh, put this into results, and I'm going to call these nerdy results. And rather than input whole images, it's going to be input nerdy. There we go. So we'll run that, and that will put us in here, results. So I should get a new set of results called nerdy results in there in just one second. I'll let this run through. I, I may have to alter time slightly. So you can see that first image, 512 by 512, does four tiles, and the next one does 20, and the next one's 117. So if you've got some very large resolution images there, uh, I'm using 10 gig of uh, VRAM at the moment. I do have uh, OBS and other stuff open as well at the moment. But uh, yes, if you want to do very large resolution images, then um, mm, you're going to need a lot of VRAM. Anyway, I will let that do its thing, and uh, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at those results. We'll have a look at the uh, comparisons first because those are those are quite fun. <laughs> so there we go. So there's the original. There's the upscale. So yeah, it's it's made it even even more clear. I, I might have a go at just keep running it through five or six hundred times and and see what happens. But anyway, <clears throat> that is an on fire. So there we go. Look at that. We can see there the the quality is uh, yeah all, all the the fuzziness is gone. We've got some really really clear eyes comparatively and nose yeah it's it's very very high detail on the eyes nose and mouth these bits have all been scaled down you can just about see in here as well the hair so it's just gone from blocky <laughs> to quite finely detailed hair so yeah there's there's some uh, some good up so this is upscaling it as well so this is upscaling twice um, and doing the face restoration as well. So again there, you can see all the blurriness has gone and it's now smooth. Also very noticeable on this background bit as well. That's got a lot of damage on it there and very smooth there. So yeah, it's uh, it's finding all the faces, sorting them out, 
and uh, it's finding faces that don't exist as well. So there's a, a sort of weird blotch, <laughs> and uh, it, it somehow thinks it's like a, a man hiding in the uh, in the undergrowth with a hat and glasses on. Not quite, not quite. And uh, there's the next image. It looks very spooky. So it's really, really overdone the eyes there, hasn't it? Really overdone the eyes. And this stud, extra, extra shiny on the stud. And the lips are weird. As it, so it's, it's almost comic-like in its uh, exaggeration. There's, for some reason, it thinks there's another set of faces, but it's actually the same face. And there, yeah, you can see again. So very, very blurry. Sort of does all the skin tone. The teeth are, are exceptional there as well. Little bit of eye. Slightly shiny nose. And it does the, the background. So everything in the square gets that uh, gets that shine. Again there, the hair detail you can see has gone absolutely crazy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's quite, a, quite a good upscale there. Again, the hair from, from that incredibly blocky image. Yeah. It's, it's going through, finding all the faces, doing very, very well, apart from, yeah, that one looks a bit weird, but that is a very, very blurry photograph, and I could not tell what that is there either. Is that is that a flower? Is that, I don't know, and it's like a bizarre, yeah, so I think it's done exceptionally well. Again, there, the hair, really high quality hair. These look, some of these look quite weird, don't they? They're quite spooky, with <laughs> the skin flap there is a, is a little bit, yeah. Okay, so here's the gorilla test, and it's done. It's done the same thing on the eyes. It's very good at recognizing eyes, and it's done the whole area around there as well. So the face cut in half. Yeah, interesting. It seems to have cleaned this half up a lot more than this half. But yeah, it, it's yeah, it's done. That's, that's nice and spooky. That that is yeah, that's that's good. I like it. I, I like the weirdness. So we've got a painting, but it's okay because we can give the painting. A realistic grin and some rather demonic eyes talking about demonic eyes <laughs> it i don't know it is that a va is that a vampire is is this is this, is this a, a selection of vampires that, that we're looking at so yeah we, we've got some fantastic expressions here aren't these some brilliant expressions yeah yeah and and the mona lisa there we go we got the Mona Lisa quite quite nicely done with the hair again there. It seems to think this is a bit of hair that goes all the way around there, but then who knows? Who knows? Uh, a drawing of Munch, it's, it's also done quite well there. And some other photographs. Yeah, colour one there. Quite nice. That's, that's a high amount of grain on there, and this is just... There's, there's no grain. There is no grain. We, we've got some classic expressions here. I mean, is that even... I can see it's detected the face, but that is no, 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 that's nothing like that. <laughs> Still, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's a child that knows uh, it, it, a photograph is being taken, I think. Yes. <laughs> look at these, look at these classical face. Now that's, it's almost steampunk in the sort of glasses and moustache there, but yeah, yeah. So uh, there's some interesting interesting restorations in here that one it did very well one didn't it that's yeah that's just a blur and that wow yeah yeah i i like the spookiness of these there's, there's a bit of weird eyeness going on there <laughs> i don't think eyes normally look like that uh, and there's a dark test which i thought oh yeah it's done quite well on that as well seems to have given her makeup and all sorts of things going on there so yeah let's have a quick look at those back in their original now these are also upscaled as well so that was originally 512 by 512 where are we that's now 1024 by 1024 so yep yeah. so you, you get the enhancement and the upscale as well so face restoration and a bit of waifu it's almost added teeth it's almost added teeth i do like it on my deep days images actually because it sort of makes the background a bit clearer as well so yeah it's, it's worked very well i'll be doing a, a slight video on those later. Now, this one was weird because remember it had that weird face that it created out of some bit of bush or tree or, yeah, uh, he he doesn't exist in there. There is, there is no hunter with glasses that I can see. I can see no hunter with glasses. 
So I, I think it must have skipped that and gone, actually, no, that's not a face anywhere. But yeah, you can see that it's restored that face and it's restored that face. So that, that did very well there. And uh, yeah, that's that's the spooky eyes one. Spooky eyes. And uh, there's the hair and teeth examples. Really, really crazy. You have to zoom in quite a lot in that. That's, uh, what's the resolution on that one? That's 4096 by 5918. So, uh, so really high res. And there again, you can see the, the teeth, eyes, nose, hair. Yeah, so it's, it's quite, quite high resolution. Oh yeah, now this one obviously was in there, but it didn't recognize that it had a face, but it will still upscale it anyway. And um, if we have a look at the uh, inputs. That's the doll face. So hopefully, hopefully you can see that this one is quite, quite grainy. Yeah, there's, again, there's lots of grain uh, all over this, but but this one, it's utterly smoothed it out. So uh, yeah, it does a, a very nice job of upscaling, even when it doesn't detect a face. It'll just skip it and upscale it anyway. So those, those are all the individual faces there. As you can see, it's uh, it's quite noticeable that this bit here has, has been upscaled as well. And it's a little bit like a, they're sort of joined in a fleshy embrace there. But uh, <laughs> yeah, but other than that, I, I think it's done a very good job, ups, you know, upscaled and done all the faces as well. That's uh, yeah, that's uh, certainly a good job. That's the uh, the weird one with a lot of uh, a lot of problems and the the face that looks like it's coming off slightly and the is I'm suspecting that it's, that's a child, and yet this this moustache and, and beard are slightly less indicative of someone that's, <laughs> yes. Anyway, and there's the gorilla, and there's the face cut in half with hair, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. There's the painting, that's, it's just creepy, isn't it? It's just creepy, I like it. And there are the vampires in their true form. Yeah, she, I can, I can only assume that's film damage, but it just happens to curve along the lip line that really looks like blood. <laughs> Still, it, it can pick as, as many faces as you like out of it. It didn't pick these ones. It didn't find these ones, <laughs> which was slightly upsetting, but uh, still it, it will pick out every face and, uh, and pop it in there. And there's the Mona Lisa, there she is. Look at that. Enigmatic as ever, with ever so slightly more detailed hair. Munch, yeah, so it even sort of works on drawings. Again, didn't detect a face there, so it didn't add eyes. Uh, talking of eyes, it seems to have made both these eyes sort of coloured, whereas everything else isn't. So you've got brown eyes and sort of greeny, grey, blue eyes. There, there is some sort of colour there, the same as for the lips as well. Um, still, looks, looks pretty awesome. Let's have a quick look at the next one. These are, of course, quite big pictures now. It's uh, that's 2590 by 3840, yeah. <laughs> uh, you don't have to upscale them, but uh, yeah, why not, eh? So that, that one's, uh, yeah, that one's very clear. As you probably remember from the original picture, there's lots of grain on that. And that's, uh, yeah, that's that's crystal clear and smooth now. Now, this one I thought it might be a little bit difficult for it to find the faces in there, given that it's a photograph that's got really, really tiny faces. And as you can, as you remember that, that face, the face of someone that knows they're having their picture taken, and uh, yeah, so it's it, it's done quite a good job. It's added teeth in there, which is quite spooky, I think, and the eyes again as well. So yeah, I, I like it for its creepiness. And there you go, there are the. I, I thought, can you can you discover the faces in this? And it did. It found that face, and these other ones you can see the eyes have done. Oh, it found that one as well. Yeah. So yeah, it, it, it can find even really small faces, it seems, and uh, and then enhance those. And there's the uh, the dark photo and back to the original. So there you go, there you go. So I think that is really rather cool, and uh, yeah, very nice for making data sets with. So you know, if you've got loads and loads of pictures and you want to pick out the faces from them and go, mm, I'd like a face data set and I'd like everything aligned, please, and and upscaled a bit, um, then yeah, they, there you go. Uh, GFP GAN, run it through. Um, I did uh, 7,512 by 512 images uh, in a few hours. Um, so yeah, it, it can go pretty quick.
can go pretty quick. Anyway, there you go. GFP GAN and real ESR GAN, a, a competitor to Waifu 2X, perhaps. Perhaps. There you go. Uh, but that's it for now. Uh, do enjoy. Rodent out.